This reminds me of a study where um, they're they're using telomere length. So telomeres are like caps at the end of your chromosomes that prevent your DNA from degrading and from getting damaged. Um, people often refer to like the tips of shoelaces like telomeres because they prevent your shoelaces from fraying. And these telomere lengths, they're really they're they're when you're young, they're long. Um, but each time each time your cell divides, they get shorter and shorter. Like with each year, they're getting shorter. I think you lose like twenty two nucleotides a year off your telomeres. And it's a biological marker for aging. So the shorter your telomeres are, uh, you know, the shorter your life is, basically. If you look at telomeres from a young person versus an old person, you can see like, dramatic differences. And stress, stress has been correlated with taking like five years off your telomere length. And uh, the opposite's been true. Meditation, they've shown that meditation, um, there's actually an enzyme that can rebuild your telomeres, but we, do, we don't express it in high levels. It's called telomerase. Um, but meditation can actually boost the expression of telomerase uh, and and cause your telomeres to get longer. So there's really something to that, you know, having a more relaxed, being able to meditate, not having a lot of stress, uh, you know, affecting the way you age, literally, and we have a biological marker for it. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. It's another thing, vitamin D, I wanted to, vitamin D affects the telomere length also. Um, if you If you Google vitamin D receptor mice, and pull up this image with the, there's mice, um, aging mice. So vitamin D actually does affect the way we age. Um, and they did this study on twins where they looked at their vitamin D levels. They measured their vitamin D levels and they looked at their telomere length. And they found that those twins with the highest levels of vitamin D also had the longest telomeres um, that corresponded to actually five years, being five years younger, even though they were twins, their same chronological age, their telomeres looked like they were five years younger if they had higher levels of vitamin D. Wow. Yeah, so... What, do you know anything about TA65? I this do is some not sort of TA65. a supplement that's supposed to uh, enhance your telomere lengths? I haven't heard of it. Um, no. So, but... Vitamin D exercise is another one that does. They've done studies showing, uh, again, in twins, uh, those that exercise the most actually had telomere length that corresponded to being 10 years younger. Um, and those that exercise sort of like average compared to those that didn't had an average of like, I think, four years. So, you know, there's, there's, there's things that affect the way you age. And we have, you know, markers for that, biological markers like telomere length uh, that, that proves your lifestyle is indeed, you know, affecting the way you age. Yeah, I'd read this telomere study, um, and uh, I had seen this uh, the, the okay. ads for this supplement. Whoa! Did okay, so look, these mice? check check this out. So those two mice on the okay, these are the same age mouse. So the the top panel, um, these mice are about four and a half months old, and the one on the left is a vitamin D receptor knocked out knockout mouse, which means it can't respond to vitamin D. So it's like it's like not having any vitamin D. If you look at the lower panel, those are the same age four months later, look how rapidly that mouse is aging without having vitamin D. I mean, there's m lots of things going wrong. I mean, I told you that vitamin D is regulating over a thousand different genes in your body. So wow. inflammation, I mean, cognitive function. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things, but look at that. It's pretty striking.